Love sometimes is taking a few steps backwards and maybe even more to give way to the happiness of the person you love. Aaron and I were playing in a sandbox. Remember, he's two years older than me. Um, near our old apartment building in downtown Boston. Now, I'm sure everyone here knows that Aaron is just about the gentlest person in the world. And apparently as a kid, he was even gentler because apparently in the sandbox, this random kid comes up to him and took his toy away. But Aaron, of course, couldn't stick up for himself. So what happens? Well, a little bro to the rescue. And apparently I clocked this other kid in the head with my fire truck to make sure to get Aaron's toy back for him. I like to think I had a master plan in mind, paying it forward a little bit. Because since then, Aaron really has always been looking out for me. You've always been there for me. Whether it was lending a more stylish outfit, because we all know that I could still use it today, to picking me up after a night on Main Street and allowing my friends to lie and tell you that I just needed a pit stop for my non-existent contact lenses. <laughs> I feel so blessed to have you as my partner in crime and just my sister. All of us wards can agree that life is just more fun with you. He's a remarkable young man, and we've been impressed with him from the very beginning. I remember meeting Aaron for the first time. Aaron profusely thanked Betsy, gathered up his dishes, Catherine's dishes, my dishes, Betsy's dishes, and then wiped the countertops. And I said, hey, this is a great guy. He eats like a ton and cleans up after himself. <laughs> We are all convinced that this wedding is uniting two wonderful people and two great families. Aaron, you've clearly shown everyone how much you love and cherish our daughter, and it means the world to everyone here. We welcome you to our family.